thing may I jubilee with what? Maybe 10%? Ab absolutely. Yeah, so yeah, it absolutely. goes to 30%. That's a significant... Yeah, that's uh, a, it, it's very, very significant. It's not only significant uh, because of the 30% uh, threshold which Uru, Uru has garnered. It's also significant because, uh, because there are four constituencies, four constituencies which were not uh, last time uh, um, in jubilee or... There are four constituencies which have gone uh, Jubilee. We have uh, Mount Elgon, Jubilee, Kimilili, uh, Sirisia, where uh, Moses Dangula uh, used to uh, be MP. He's right. now in Jubilee. Mm -hmm. And then you have um, uh, Webuye West. So the, uh, these facts are really important to then uh, uh, make some initial predictions as who had actually won the presidential results. Mm -hmm. So Bungoma is a very, very significant county. Transoya as well. Uh, Huru has nearly 100,000 uh, uh, votes in Transoya. Mm -hmm. uh, again, Anasa. Uh, Anasa, uh, Anasa uh, area uh, stronghold. Anasa uh, stronghold. Mm. So uh, this, this, uh, these facts are really very uh, 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 critical insofar as uh, building up a case that Uhuru somehow may have won this uh, 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 presidency. All right. Are there other areas that we can look at and possibly uh, try and correlate what has happened on the ground? Because at the end of the day, uh, from a legal perspective, you've mentioned the circumstantial evidence. Uh, you can still look at it. And that, of course, may not be admissible at this point. Yeah, of course. But yeah, it helps yeah. us build a case. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It helps us uh, just, uh, just look at uh, uh, some of the areas. And looking at Jubilee having won uh, some seats in Rift Valley, because the other area, uh, looking at, um, for instance, uh, Bobet, where we have Joyce Laboso um, um, taking um, the gubernatorial seat from Isaac Ruto. And he is one of the NASA principals. Yeah, what does yeah. that tell us? Yeah, absolutely. The other factors, apart from Bumet, which I want to mention uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a short way, we have Kuala County. Mm -hmm. Remember that uh, the Kuala governor who was actually an ODM governor. Yes. Then he shifted political parties. Mm -hmm. After shifting political parties, he went to Jubilee, and he is now won uh, the seat on a Jubilee ticket. So insofar as the entire uh, outcome is concerned, ODM has already lost. Uh, so, and, and again, if you look at the results for president in so far as Kuala is concerned, Uhuru has then, then has majority mm -hmm. votes in, in, in Kuala. So mm -hmm. uh, that again is very, very significant in so far as the, the, the outcome of these results uh, is concerned. Look at, at, at Bomet. Bomet was uh, initially uh, a NASA stronghold. Eh? Uh, in fact, if, uh, again, in that 10 million rallying call by NASA... That was one of the areas uh, they, say, they had said they've locked. Exactly. They, right. have, they had locked that, and they, the indication was that, remember that Isaac Ruto had promised to deliver 1.5 million votes for NASA in Rift Valley. Mm. And Abomet was really supposed to be a closed case, mm. no, ju no contest, mm. no Jubilee votes. Right. It was but now, mm -hmm. exactly, Jubilee has won uh, in Bomet, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a majority win by Jubilee in Bomet. Indeed, very, very significant insofar as it's a NASA uh, stronghold. The same applies for Meru. Mm -hmm. uh, Meru, uh, w w uh, uh, it was uh, projected that NASA will get significant votes in Meru. Mm -hmm. uh, again, that is not the case. Uh, Meru has gone Jubilee. And, but, but, and, and generally, the entire Rift Valley, where Isaac Ruto had promised to get 1.5 million uh, uh, didn't votes, seem to work out. Exactly. The entire Rift Valley uh, 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 region, apart from Baringo and one or two uh, independent candidates here and there, Jubilee has won the entire uh, uh, Rift Valley. They have also taken Maasai land. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, Kajiado was, a, uh, was, a, was an ODM stronghold insofar as the, the votes were concerned. It's gone Jubilee through Olelenku. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a very, very strong push uh, by NASA in, uh, in, uh, in, 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 in Narok through Chama Chamashinani. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very strong push, really. But again, to, uh, Governor Tunai has taken, uh, uh, has, uh, has taken the uh, Narok and delivered the Jubilee uh, majority votes in uh, Okay, yeah. so assuming these figures are correct and, you know, on the ground, that's exactly what uh, we have because once those forms 34A and 34B come up, uh, like you've mentioned, they really should just be almost just a confirmation of the figures we already have. So assuming that all this is correct, where is it that possibly um, they could have gone wrong uh, with, with calculations? Because a place like Isaac Ruto's area, really, he, wa he had assumed that he has locked down over one million voters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it is absolutely important to emphasize that if the other results are not being challenged, and these results have gone through... Apart the, from the presidential. Exactly. If, if, if these results have not been challenged, and they have gone through the IBC uh, system, and these results are accurate and can be verified based on the data on the ground, 
then most likely than not, the presidential results are also accurate. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is absolutely important uh, uh, to mention that uh, most of these facts which uh, are coming out on the ground appear to uh, lead to a consistent, uh, a, a consistent projection of our Uhuru uh, presidency uh, uh, win, mm -hmm. uh, not really a Uhuru presidency, mm -hmm. a Uhuru win in so far as these uh, elections are concerned. Mm -hmm. Remember that the entire of central Kenya voted uh, overwhelmingly for, 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 for Uhuru. Uhuru has sizable votes in Mombasa, uh, Kilifi, mm -hmm. uh, Lamu counties, and, uh, and, and of course, uh, major parts of northeastern. Uh, Uhuru has gotten some votes in Migori, some votes in Migori because of the courier, I think the courier factor. Mm -hmm. And he's got substantial votes in Kisi, mm -hmm. really substantial, because if you look at the votes he's gotten in Kisi, really, you, 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 uh, you're entitled to use that word substantial. Again, uh, uh, Kisi had been called on Dover as an other zone. Mm -hmm. Then, in totality of the, of, of the facts, Uhuru mm -hmm. has won at least 35% of the votes, uh, uh, twenty five percent of the votes, at least in thirty five counties. Raila has twenty five of the votes, at least in twenty five counties. Mm -hmm. Again, that is very, very significant mm -hmm. in so far as, the, as, 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 as as the projections are concerned. But then, more broadly, if you look at the number of governors, Uhuru has twenty five. Uh, actually, twenty six governors uh, could have uh, uh, NASA. Of, of course, it's mixed up. Then you have NASA with. Uh, um, ODM 13, Ford Kenya 2, ANC mm -hmm. 1, Mandeleo Chap Chap 1. Mm -hmm. Remember, Mandeleo Chap Chap is affiliated to Uhuru. Again, the Machakos factor. Ma right. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The votes which Uhuru got in Machakos were mm -hmm. directly attributed to the work of Governor uh, uh, Alfred Mtua. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we have one independent candidate who only won the, independence, uh, the, the independent position for governor in Laikipia, but the entire vote went to, mm -hmm. uh, to Uhuru Kenya. Then, of course, you have one governor position in. Uh, uh, one uh, uh, position for Kanu, that is uh, West Pokot. Then you have now Kenya uh, in Kitui. Mm -hmm. So in totality, um, uh, if you look at the facts really then On the ground. Uh, in that perspective, mm -hmm. uh, there is a very, very strong circumstantial uh, evidence that the results which Uhuru has garnered insofar as the voting uh, is concerned. Remember, for me, I'm not a supporter of Uhuru. Uh, yeah, you're purely I, just I'm using I'm the I'm evidence I'm that you have yes, on the table. Ab absolutely. And mm -hmm. these issues are the issues which are going to, uh, to come out from the Supreme Court insofar as... as, 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 as Determ the, determining as the what, what the is facts concerned. are. All right. And uh, at this point, I want us to also just look at the dailies and uh, just give a scope of what is on the newspapers this morning. And as usual, we'll start with the standard. And uh, basically, the standard Uhuru tops as Raila protests poll outcome. And those, this, of course, is what we are discussing. But I think something important to also note is that uh, Raila Odinga and his running mate, Kalonzo Musioka, emphasized on Kenyans maintaining peace and remaining calm until uh, the, the way forward is defined. Uh, so, what, what you, know, you know, that issue to me was a double edged. Uh uh, it's almost like a double speak. Uh, ab absolutely. <laughs> yeah, because we must maintain calm at all times, no matter the outcomes of this election. Mm. Kenya is more bigger, uh, uh, it's bigger, than than bigger and more important than any one of us. Mm. And really, we must uh, be ready and uh, willing to build up institutions. And uh, we must be ready to, uh, uh, to be defeated. At the same time, we must be ready to win. So it's absolutely important that uh, the supporters who... Uh, uh, who uh, uh, the, the ones who back to Uhuru also maintain calm. Mm. And we must call them for the supporters of... of, of of, of, uh, of NASA as well. They must maintain calm at all times. No matter what happens, no matter the declaration of these results, because mm. there's a process. We are a rule of law. We are not a jungle economy. Mm. So there must be some kind of a mechanism where the complaints by and NASA... There is a legal and there is a legal system. Yes. So we can't say that we are, we are, we are, we are asking our, our supporters to remain calm as mm. we, as we uh, try and verify what happened and then uh, we'll come back to you. <laughs> no, the calmness must continue it, it at, must all continue times. at all times. Yeah, Absolutely. Yes, it must be maintained regardless. Yeah, really, it must all be right. maintained. Yeah. Also on the front page, we have, uh, well, uh, uh, big winners and losers. And uh, we have the likes of Mike Sonko, uh, who is, uh, could be, if the figures remain the same, the next governor of Nairobi. You have the likes of Johnson uh, Sakaja uh, coming in and also Esther Pasaris. And that's interesting that we have uh, Kenyans possibly 
not voting for parties per se. Because this year, you have uh, two Jubilee candidates at the top. Yeah, but yeah. Um, you have Esther Pasaris coming in uh, on, an, uh, on a NASA ticket. Yeah, that's a very, very strange, uh, strange uh, but of course, uh, expected voting pattern in Nairobi. Mm. It is strange in the sense that it does not fit into, into the usual projections. Right. Uh, remember that Sonko, really, his band of politics is absolutely uh, interesting. I can say weird, but it, <laughs> it, 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 it actually uh, resonates with the well, people on the, the ground. on the ground. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. The people in the informal settlements who uh, view Sonko as some kind of a small, uh, a small god. Eh? Mm. I think they are the ones who then turned out in large numbers uh, uh, to vote for him. And mm. that may have directly contributed uh, to the Kidero. To to the Kidero, uh, to Kidero uh, losing. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, losing. We, we also have others uh, like uh, Joseph uh, Olelenku in Kajiado. Was that a surprise for you? Uh, this, uh, again, it's, it's important to emphasize that, uh, and, and, and to admit mention this, that Jubilee had, had put a lot of efforts uh, in, in Kajiado, Kajiado through mm -hmm. the late uh, in Kayseri. Uh, in Kayseri. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the win by Olelenku uh, is not really something that should upset us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a win, in my view, which probably was expected. Uh, maybe NASA should have done more. Uh, but now, again, they, they, Well, they we'll wait and see down. whether those will be the official announced uh, uh, results. Uh, looking at page three, we also have another interesting scenario that's playing out, as it may have been expected, and three women and seat governors uh, incumbents uh, to win more other elective positions. And we have Anwa Igoro, we have uh, Charity Ngilu, and uh, Joyce Laboso. Basically, uh, who could be the first women governors in this country? Yeah, that's a very, very important milestone, and really we must congratulate uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the three uh, uh, most likely candidates uh, who have won, of course, the, the, the position for governor. Most mm. likely they, are, they, they have won because they, there's no evidence on the ground that the opponents are going to... Uh, to contest it. Yeah, to, uh, uh, not really to contest, mm. but to, to win any votes to... Uh, to impeach what they have uh, won. So that's very, very significant insofar as, as our women's rights are concerned. We need women on the table. Uh, Charlie, Charlie Ngiri is a very, very strong personality on the ground, and therefore uh, uh, she is going to, uh, uh, to be a very, very important asset for devolution. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the, the Bomet factor uh, really... Uh, there's very strong jubilee wave in, 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 in Bomet, really mm -hmm. assisted uh, uh, Dr. Joyce Laboso. And of Joyce Laboso that to claim that. I want us to take a short commercial break, but Bomet County, I think, is one that I, I would like us to also discuss a little bit more. Yeah, because yeah. word on the ground is that Isaac Ruto has actually uh, done quite a lot, you know, in terms of development in that area and why people would be willing to trade that possibly uh, for Joyce Laboso, who, well, uh, she was at a national yeah. level and, and trust her to do that. But we'll have that discussion right here as we continue. This is Kivumbi 2017 and uh, it is now just getting up to 7 o'clock. Uh, we're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back where we'll be bringing you more results as they come in and also looking at what this means as Kenya decides.